everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to work with multiple pages in a single form. Okay, so this is a quick demo how actually it's worked. Actually, this is three pages and in one form. Here you can see we are not changing the form. Then we click on button. So let's start how to make this. First of all, we need to create a project that is new project. Go to file, new project, and name whatever you want to. I'm giving multi page. Okay, so let's start with it. Now, here we go. Now, what we need is we need to just put multiple panels over it in the single form and works like multiple pages. Okay. So let me put the first panel, just drag and drop it and just increase its size to large enough. Change its size according to your needs and on this let me put label, post label 1, and just increase its font so that it can be clearly visible to you all guys. This 26 okay this is level one and let me put some or more data like grid view and all okay this is first level and what we need is one button and just change its name to next Okay, so now what we need is when we click on this next button, it's changed to the next form or next page. So how to do that? Just drag one more panel over it. And we need to actually, let me just, we need to just generate the click event of this button so for that you just need to double click on this button and now here we have the low button click event and now one more panel we need here the search for panel just drag and drop it here and increase its size to the previous one and make sure the size of the previous one is same to the new one okay so that it will work properly now I need buttons, few buttons control copy and paste it will replicate the buttons just change it to previous and change it to next and let me put a label so then we can see the difference and change its size to search for font and there you can change its size and change its size to 26 and let me put date time picker like this so that you can see the difference and now we need to generate this click event for this button for that double click on this and we need to generate click event for now before going to the next we need to code for the pre next button the first event we have generated here what what we need is when we click on this next button the button one then panel one needs to be hidden and this panel needs to be shown so that you just need to write panel one dot visible is equal to false and panel two dot visible is equal to true okay so let me just remove it for a while so that I can see show you the difference just click on this. when I click on this button this first panel needs to be hidden and the second panel needs to be visible for that I have written the code okay so here this is a code 
and before starting the project what we need is when the this form loads this panel second needs to be hidden and only panel one needs to be visible for that just double click on this form to generate the load the event and what we need is panel two dot visible is equal to false okay so just start it and i will show you how actually it's working so this is the first panel in which i have put the grid view and one label and just click on this next okay so we have it's a cow's problem because because make sure that panels needs to be overlap perfectly otherwise it's not visible and if you're facing some problem like this then just rearrange it you will be it will be fine okay so just put it here and execute it Still, it's having problem with that. Let me just resolve it. So let's. I uh, actually I have done rearrange this by just removing this and placing it back to there. And let me just show you. Just click on this next. Here you can see this next um, next form next panel is here. And now we need to clear just code on this previous button. For that, I just need to double click on this. And when I click. What we need is when we click on this previous button, it's moved back to the first panel. For so that, panel two dot visible is equal to false, and we need to move to panel one. So that panel one dot visible is equal to true. That's it. We just need to do this and just start it. And here you can see the difference. This next and previous, next and previous next and previous in the same way we can add more panels and if you want to look at good or nice then you just can set the background image like just click on this panel and go to background image and select one which you like the most the same way and just nice okay. just select anything I'm selecting this and make sure you change this background image layout to stretched this image will fit now and here we go now just click on next and previous next and previous and if you want to add more panels to use more forms just drag it and drop it here okay and just move it Back and just stretch it large enough to exact to the previous one. Don't forget my word exact to the previous one. Okay, so let me just go for this too. Generate one click event for this one. Okay. And just make it large. And I've created the quick event. And here it is. So at at this that button, what we need is panel 3 dot visible is equal to true and rest needs to be false true dot false okay. visible is equal to false and in the same way what we need to do is when this form loads we need to hide the panel 3 as well dot visible is equal to false and let me just show you okay 
So here with this, in the third panel, we haven't added anything and we haven't code on this previous button. So to code on this previous button, just double click on this. And when we click on this previous button, panel two dot visible is equal to true and panel three needs to be hidden. Okay. So, and let me put some thing in this. Let me just put few buttons so that you can see the difference. Okay, now we've started. And here you can see next previous is working properly and here the third panel I have added so many buttons. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share with your friends and check out my playlist for more videos. And do comment.